people quickly run go into the comment section and tell me if you support the integrity commission is the integrity commission needed in this country get this video to a thousand likes more people i go play this for them listen to this and he said yes he's under under investigation furthermore the integrity commission could not conclude their investigation because some information that they asked him to provide he refused to provide and so they have said that they recommended referring the matter Everybody like to the, the financial investigations division of the country which is a financial crimes investigator all right what has been done by the prime minister is deemed a criminal offense okay no he his case has been referred to now to become reported to the financial investigative division okay this is major this is serious everybody get this video to a thousand likes my people share the video all right also coming up in the segment my people vibe scotting no, is looking forward to touchdown in the United States. That could be the only reason, right? Because Vibe Scottell now says that he is, is supporting Donald Trump. Yes, he says he is in support of Donald Trump, my people. All right? Again, the question is, do you support the Integrity Commission? Is it needed in this country? Talk to me inside the comment section, my people. And also coming up, in the in this next segment Tommy Lee Sparta locks down sorry for disappointing my people but yes yeah for all of the people them know me go deliver the news the phone now, right because Tommy Lee Sparta is now on lockdown my people so stay tuned for that all right today is guidance Saturday, my people and whatever your endeavors are for today virtual tv wishes you guidance in all your endeavors for the rest of the day all right me go play the audio phone coming up shortly but again the question is do you support the integrity commission right the people must say the integrity commission weak right recently because of course the whole excitement about the prime minister's finances who now they are saying that there is a power struggle which is the leader of the country who writes the legislation for the integrity commission and they are saying that his actions exudes guilt the integrity commission however said though that they are not backing down and they will now try to seek to move forward with the case as this now stands in court i am going to tell you what is happening with the battle between the integrity commission and prime minister and wholeness and what is said to be allegedly him being investigated for illicit enrichment allegedly you understand so with that being said, my people, share the video, like the video, everybody, all right? I'm going to play this for now, get back and relax, and listen to this. The Prime Minister was under investigation for arising from his annual filings, because all parliamentarians in Jamaica and public servants earning above a certain threshold have to file a declaration each year with the Integrity Commission, declaring all their assets, all their debts, and their income. And they look through it and they investigate it um, and look into it. And when they I looked into his, agree with Mark they, Gordon, by the way. they were not satisfied. And they decided to investigate him for illicit enrichment. The problem is that he, this became known, not that he was under investigation, but that there were six persons, six members of parliament, who were under investigation for illicit enrichment. And this was known because in the annual report, of the Integrity Commission, which is sent to Parliament, they said there are six members of Parliament who are under investigation for this enrichment. Everyone is who are these people? Who are these people? They will not disclose that until their report goes to Parliament on each of those cases. The law doesn't allow them to say anything about it until they report to the Parliament. So it was a big thing. Now the Prime Minister knew from August 2023, and even before actually, based on the report that has come out now. That he was under investigation. Exactly he did not disclose it, even though it was a huge issue then in the country. The and even when, when asked subsequently, he fudged the answer and did not disclose that he was under it. Now, to my, then in September, I think it was this year, a, the report came to Parliament for him. And he said, yes, he's under, under investigation. Furthermore, the Integrity Commission could not conclude their investigation because some information that they asked him to provide, he refused to provide. And so they have said that they recommended referring the matter to the Financial Investigations Division of the country, which is a financial crimes investigator.
All right, so there you go where that is concerned. He tells you that the Prime Minister lied to the country. That's what he's saying. Because while he didn't know, maybe, allegedly, that he was being investigated, and we're on the Prime Minister's side here right now, we are talking about that, he was notified, right, about certain things, or he was contacted by the Integrity Commission and alerted of their intention to do such. No, consecutively, the Prime Minister was being asked by the public and by the Jamaican people and the opposition if he was being investigated for illicit enrichment. Andrew Holness went on record allegedly to say that he wasn't being investigated or not to his knowledge. That is what is being said. All right. Yeah. Now, fast forward to that now. The Integrity Commission has no referred this case to be investigated because they are saying, and this is Mark Golding, that his case is now being referred to the FSC, the TAJ, and the FID because they are saying that he has been found in breach of the Integrity Commission. As a matter of fact, he goes on to say that where the situation is concerned, they are saying this. He is found in breach with the Integrity Commission and when he was asked to provide certain information, he basically refused to do so. So now they are in a court. And the ruling for now the Integrity Commission is on its second day. The judges have decided that they are going to push forward with the case. And the ruling date is going to be on December 6th. Right? And the request for judicial review from the IC report. Now, Prime Minister Andrew Holness is to know on December 6th whether the Supreme Court will grant his request for a judicial review on the Integrity Commission report on the IC statutory declaration, all right? So there you go where that is concerned. Moving right along in the segment, my people. Mm -hmm. Now, persons are now in concern. Now, while majority of Jamaican people are say they are in worry because Donald Trump has won the election and this means big news or big changes, to say the least, for immigration. And we all know that many Jamaican people has crossed the border are them run off? Them are worried. People are now in a worrying situation. But no, not Vibes Cartel. Vibes Cartel says that Trump is the man for the job. As a matter of fact, Vibes Cartel says that he gives you as it is and he thinks that Trump is the person, the right person that America needs right now. Now already, people are flocking to the comment section to ask if it's a visa cartel or all right vibes cartel visa has been rejected or taken away from him for over a decade now vibes cartel hasn't had a united states visa from before him got prison and vibes cartel has done 12 and a half to 13 years in prison so it's probably well over two decades now vibes cartel says that donald trump is the best person elected as the 47th president of the u.s the people them now say it look like cartel are begging visa that's what it is now what we don't know for sure though is what does this mean because vibes cartel says that him no care which color you be he doesn't deal with well image politics what he thinks is that donald trump is the man for the job that is according to him so for many people now, what are your thoughts on that? You think Vibes Cartel, Noel, are you in support of Donald Trump becoming the president? That is what I'm going to talk about and left that there so. Alright, mm -hmm. moving from that now to this. Ladies, 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 sorry for telling you, but Tommy Lee's part is now on lockdown. The photograph you're seeing and a video that has been circulating social media shows that Tommy Lee's life has been changed. And he's now in a committed relationship, locked down with him, boo, as you can see. Now, in this video, in the video which I can play, um, they are seen, you know, showing intimacy and spending quality time with his boo. So, for the ladies, then we are trying, you know, get to the Sparta boss. He's now off the market. Yeah, Tommy Lee Sparta is now taken. Okay, so sorry for disappointing her right now, but yes, that's what it is ultimately. Like and share the video, my people. We have more to come. Stay tuned. Don't go nowhere.
so far there. Bless upon yourself.